welcome to this live training about egg quality. So I know that this is probably, whoops, sorry, I'm having some setup issues today and I can't move my chair closer without bumping everybody. Um, so I know that egg quality is very commonly a thing that gets flagged with many of our clients by their fertility specialist to, you know, as a reason why, you know, fertility treatments may not be working or you haven't conceived yet or because of your age. And all of those things may be true, although there are multiple other factors that can be at play as well. So I wanted to help refocus your nutrition and your strategies to help support egg quality specifically. And it is difficult because the sign of a high quality egg is, is conception or, you know, fertilization, becoming a blastocyst and implanting. I mean, amongst many other things, but there is no egg quality test. There is no way to measure egg quality. So it makes it really hard to measure. It makes it really hard to study. It makes it really hard to kind of understand if you're making a difference because you don't feel it and you can't really measure it. But interestingly, when I went to um, look at an egg retrieval and I got into the embryology lab and I looked down the microscope, I asked the embryologist to show me, you know, what's to your eye, what does it look like to look for an embryo that looks really healthy and great and, you know, you would select to transfer and maybe something that hasn't looked as great. And it's really interesting because when you do look down the microscope, there is a visual difference. It's hard to articulate, but, you know, seeing it, I, I, I got it. I understood. But most of us don't have access to that kind of information. So I think having embryology reports and having conversations with your embryologist at your clinic, if you are doing IVF, I think is really important because they hold a lot of important data in under the microscope slides of your embryos. So anyway, I'm getting off track, but I thought that might be helpful insights as well. Just because your egg count is low doesn't automatically mean that your egg quality is. And I think that's a really common thing. Oh, I have low AMH, I must have crap eggs. That's not necessarily the case. So I think that's a really important reminder as well. So I'm going to step you through some of the key nutrition strategies that you can leverage to support egg quality. So we want to try and create this protective bubble or shield around your egg. The egg will rupture from a follicle, which contains follicular fluid. And we do have data to say that people that are less likely to go on to successfully conceive um, will have more inflammatory type proteins or cytokines in that follicular fluid. And that is ultimately like the little gestation bath of your egg. So we want to try and bathe it in as much antioxidants to help protect that egg. We're not going to be able to change the underlying DNA code or how many chromosomes are in that egg, but we may be able to help preserve the cellular health if it is genetically normal. So antioxidants are your best friend. So eating colorful, eating a wide variety of seasonal fruits and vegetables of all different colors. If you're very much a broccoli, carrot, green bean girly, then it's time to expand your horizons and embrace more colorful ways of eating because each set of antioxidants will offer us a different set of benefits. And we want as much kind of diversity in the armor that we arm ourselves with to protect our eggs. The next kind of food to boost your antioxidants in your diet is using extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil has the highest antioxidant and polyphenol quantity compared to any other cooking oil and it's able to maintain this antioxidant value even after cooking. So uh, we'll see the vitamin E content still being, you know, uh, at a beneficial level even after heating and it has the least amount of trans fats which aren't so great for egg quality and polar compounds which are important markers of oil stability and oil health. So it is safe to cook with in the home environment and I 
encourage my clients to use extra virgin olive oil as exclusively as practical in their cooking and in their daily lives to not only for the healthy fat profile but also for the antioxidants it also helps your body absorb other antioxidants like lycopene, um, sulforaphane. I can never say that one properly. Um, but there's lots of other antioxidants that are fat soluble. Um, and so it helps when you dress your food with extra virgin olive oil to help boost that antioxidant absorption as well, which is really cool. My next tip is to use an abundance of dried herbs and spices in your diet and or fresh if you can get your hands on some. Personally, I will never live in a place where I don't have access to fresh herbs in my garden because I use them so, so, so much every day. And try and challenge yourself to add cinnamon to your porridge in the morning. You know, sprinkle your avocado toast with fresh basil or dried oregano. Um, add more herbs and spices to your roast, paprika, um, rosemary, sage, add a bay leaf to your pasta sauce. Really, they're flavor enhancers, but they also pack an absolute antioxidant punch. They're really, really underrated. So I would highly recommend if your spice drawer is a little bit outdated or neglected that you reacquaint yourself with those because they're really, really helpful for egg quality. My next tip is to boost your omega-3 intake. Omega-3s help with healthy blood flow to the ovaries, to the uterus. It also helps with inflammatory uh, to reduce inflammation down as well, which is a key thing that we want to be targeting for egg quality. So making sure that you're getting two 150 gram servings of oily fish, which includes salmon, ocean trout, mackerel. You want to avoid king mackerel because it is high in mercury. Um, sardines and anchovies so 150 grams twice per week if you don't eat fish don't like fish allergic to fish vegan or vegetarian uh, i don't know you live in a place where fish quality is not great then i would strongly 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 recommend that you please consider a fish oil or algae based oil supplement with your healthcare provider please don't self supplement um dose timing um, and form is really important. So if you want help with that, we do offer express prenatal supplement consults. So you can book with us uh, for a custom plan, including your prenatal vitamin and also your omega-3. My next and final tip is we want to avoid some things when it comes to egg quality. Probably the biggest one um, that most people are kind of aware of but don't necessarily correlate to um, egg quality is alcohol. So we want to try and keep our alcohol intake to an absolute minimum, as close to zero as possible for egg quality. So a lot of people know that there's no safe level of alcohol during pregnancy, but for three or so months in anticipation of fertility treatment or trying to conceive, dropping your alcohol intake significantly is going to make a difference because it it's not great from an inflammation standpoint generally speaking and we want to try and protect that egg as much as possible particularly as we get older i find that as we get older we actually like anecdotally i see people drinking more um maybe we've got more access to to money to 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 buy good better quality drinks or um you know you go through different life phases maybe you're going to lots of 40ths and there's lots of drinking or maybe all your friends are you know past the baby making part of their life and so they're drinking and you feel silly not to and i think that that social element particularly in australia is a big thing I know it shouldn't be, but the reality of it is, is that people feel a lot of stigma if they don't drink rather than the other way around, which is really interesting. So the data is that, you know, zero is the best for both females and males in preconception period. And there is some suggestion that even two standard drinks per week or more for women makes a difference. And I think that's a really narrow range, you know, zero to two. And so I generally try and advocate for where possible, as close to zero as possible. Of course, if you've got, you know, your best friend's wedding or I don't know, you're going on a much awaited holiday or something like that. You don't want to feel guilty about that, obviously. So it's going to vary. But if it was a perfect world, we would have zero alcohol intake. But often when I have this conversation with people, they're often 
reminded like oh I actually do drink more than I self-identify with just because of how my social life looks um amongst other things so yes my, those are my five top ways to support egg quality so just as a recap antioxidants from colorful fruit and veg extra virgin olive oil herbs and spices dried or fresh boosting your omega-3 rich fish or oily fish and minimizing alcohol intake so i covered most of these tips inside my boost your ivf success masterclass which was on last monday and we are currently still doing discovery calls at the moment for those who are interested in one-on-one -on -one nutrition support for IVF. So if that's you, this is your last chance to join us for 2023. We will be closing applications for discovery calls on October 31st. So please, if you need support, accountability, someone to hold your hand to give you more than just what to eat and what not to eat, then please reach out. You can DM us the word roadmap and it will give you the dates. So just a reminder, doors will close on applications for discovery calls on October 31st. I am so excited. I know already a few people have signed up overnight. So spots are definitely really filling up and we are getting all the ducks in a row for these clients in anticipation of Jam Feb uh, egg collections and transfers. So you do need a few months up your sleeve. So that's an important factor as well. So nutrition does not change things overnight. All right, everyone, I hope this live training about egg quality was useful for you. If it was, drop a comment and let me know and I will catch you in the next live training. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.